Good morning, everybody. Pastor Stitch, Narrow Path Christian Church, D.C., Bay City, Michigan. Welcome to the Biker Devotional. So this morning I'm getting myself ready and going to be heading out to Detroit here in a little while. Looks like I'll be hitting some rain on the way down, so I appreciate any prayers that you might want to throw up for safe travels and and uh, eyes on the road, those around me that will see me. As I was reading and studying this morning, as I was spending my quiet time with God and talking to him, this verse kept coming back. Every time I would try to go off to another verse to offer an encouragement or uh, a direction for the day, I came back to this verse. It kept jumping off the page. And so uh, someone, someone needs to hear this today. It's Proverbs 21, verse 4. The lamp that guides the wicked, haughty eyes and arrogant heart, is sin. The thing that guides you, the thing that guides you determines who you are. And here it says the lamp that guides the wicked, haughty eyes, which also means um, arrogant. It means presumptuous. It means it's about me. What you look for, what you desire. If it's about you, it's sin. It's interesting to think about how many times in a day I find myself in that same position. I am grateful for the fact that today, sin offerings don't have to be made through the sacrifice system. Sin offerings were already made through Jesus Christ. All I have to do is repent. Repent means that I tell God, I recognize this about myself. I don't want to live that way anymore. I'm going to turn away from it. I recognize I'm broken and I need to do better. but. Help me to do better. We often read about the righteous man. A righteous man means someone who is striving to live right. Is what is important to us sin? Or is what is important to us God? It's a good question. Today as I'm going down to share a blessing with fellow riders, we... We have it often, we expect God to pour out a blessing into our life, but we don't take into consideration that when he pours in a blessing, he pours in an expectation. Today, if you don't know what that expectation is, you need to spend some time. Maybe read the Gospel of John. That's a good place to see who Jesus is and see what the Bible is about. Because the Gospel of John pulls it together in such a grand way. But if you're not willing to change, if you still want your beer more, if you still want your people to look at you more than you want to be in service to God, the blessing that he wants to pour into your life, he can't. He shows up every time you ask for a blessing. He tells you, I'll give you the blessing. But you got your part. Today, own your part so you can have your blessing. And it's not necessarily about the finances. It's not necessarily about great stuff. That all can be fleeting. But the important stuff, the stuff that you can't measure, that's there. It's just waiting for you. I love you all. Hope you have a great day.